at CBS2, we are separating medical facts from myths and helping you make informed decisions. And joining us now is Dr. Nicholas Testa. He is the Chief Medical Officer for Dignity Hospitals. Welcome to you, Dr. Testa. Thank you for having me. You know, my first question for you, sir, is so many people, when you hear about the coronavirus, say, oh, the flu is a lot worse. A lot mm. more people get the flu as opposed to the coronavirus. What do you think about that? What do you say just in terms of the severity and the mortality rates yeah. between the two? Right now, the mortality rate for the coronavirus looks like it's higher than the flu. The flu mortality rate is about 0.1%. Mm -hmm. We've heard a lot of different statistics. Somewhere between, but the prior for a coronavirus is somewhere between 1.5 and 3.5%. Again, this is all very new though, right? So every day these numbers are changing, but the mortality rate definitely appears higher than the flu. So I was out this weekend, saw a lot of people wearing those masks. Tell us who should be and who should not be wearing these surgical masks and what type of mask, if you want to wear one, should you wear? Sure. So let me be clear. There is no evidence out there that shows that a, a surgical mask is going to prevent anyone in the community from developing the disease, okay? okay? So w let me tell you how we use a mask. So we use a surgical mask on a patient or on a surgeon in the operating room to prevent anything from exiting and ending up somewhere else. Okay. So you should wear a mask if you're sick, right? We want to prevent those droplet nuclei from coming out. Now there is a specific kind of mask that we've heard a lot about, right? The N95 mask. That's the kind of mask that I use as an ER doctor. If I go in and see a patient in an isolation room who I'm worried about would have coronavirus or tuberculosis or some other infectious disease, I'm going to be up close and personal with that patient. I put that mask on. It's very specific how I fit it to my face. And then as soon as I'm out of that room, I take it off because those masks only really last for about five or ten minutes. Mm. Once they get moist, they're not effective. Mm. Ah. There is no literature to show that mm -hmm. by somebody putting on an N95 mask and walking around all day with it on, that is going to decrease their chance of getting Okay, it's very difficult to get right now anyway from what I understand. Well, yeah. that's the other thing. And I feel like I need to talk about this because what we're seeing is we're seeing a lot of people buying the masks online and consuming the product. We need those masks need for, your health for our physicians and right. our nurses and our respiratory therapists. We're seeing these patients every day. That's where my biggest concern is. I want to make sure that they have the tools they need so if you get sick, that they're safe. Okay. I have a question about how this virus is, is transmitted. And I'm, I'm a personal question because of the, the cruise ship in yeah. Oakland where they're yeah. taking people off. My daughter is maybe a couple blocks away from there in, a, in an apartment building, a very large community. Should they be concerned? I mean, how far can the particles, you know, carry through the air? Yeah. Can you just walk down the street sure. and go ahead, sir? Great question. So the, um, the virus is transmitted by what's called uh, droplet nuclei, basically very small droplets of uh, saliva that are generated when we call for sneeze. They um, usually say about six feet is the, the area. So a sneeze or cough about six feet. It could be wider than that, but about that. But that's really not the, the way it's typically spread in the community from what we're seeing. What happens a lot is you sneeze, you cough, and those droplets end up on a surface, okay. right? And then we pick them up on our hands, and then we touch our eyes or our mouth and inoculate ourselves. Right? So right. I think your daughter's fine, <laughs> <laughs> you, unless she's six feet away from the boat, but yeah. you know. All right, I'll make sure I tell Such her that. Such good advice. Yeah. Doctor, thank you for being here today. Well, your expertise. Thank you. thank you for your time. Yeah, there are so many questions. Maybe we can email you. <laughs> <laughs> right. you thank know, you, doctor. We could a whole hour with the right? doctor, couldn't we? No yeah. question. Yeah.